Now as you close your eyes, I hope you like daring adventures, because you are about to have the most fun journey you can imagine, full of amazing surprises, so brilliant it will feel like a dream. Because as you do close your eyes and listen, and you settle in for your coziest rest. Your imagination can begin to run free to explore all the wonderful possibilities of a magical dream coming true. And I wonder if you can believe that incredible legends are really possible. Perhaps even those legends involving pirates, and whales, and long lost treasure. As you just lie back and let your arms and legs and even your belly relax. And you may feel yourself relaxing more and more as you take a deep breath in through your nose and let the air flow out. Good. Now take another few deep breaths in and out. And as you breathe, you may notice the air sounds just like the relaxing waves of the ocean. Flowing in and out so easily. That's excellent. You're doing this meditation brilliantly. And as your eyelids completely relax, because they are still gently closed, you may allow this sensation of relaxing, calming ocean waves to really take over now. as you start to imagine the big blue sea. The ocean wide and free. With rolling waves stretching out as far as the eye can see. And these waves are so relaxing to listen to. And as you really listen in, you think you may even hear the faint sound of a whale song in the far distance. And all of a sudden, your imagination starts to visualize a pirate ship floating along on these frothiest of happy waves. And as you start to see this ship so clearly, a picture is forming in your mind's eye, showing you how impressive this voyaging vessel really is. you are now standing here on the wooden deck of this incredible ship. 
as you look up and around you in wonderment and you appreciate how huge it really is and made all of timber like the big boats in the legends of old. With a tall strong mast and large white sails And at the helm is a brass statue that looks just like a mighty whale. And most interestingly, you can hear and see, flapping in the breeze, the flag painted there. And it's a flag with a skull and crossbones the mighty flag of the Jolly Roger. And you know for sure this must be a pirate ship. Because suddenly many pirates emerge from all around you on the deck. But instead of looking fearsome and grim, They instead look so friendly and happy and instead of wearing scary scowls on their faces, every pirate has a wide grin and a welcoming smile. Because they all look so genuinely happy to see you. For these are the peaceful pirates who are welcoming you right now to their proud ship. And so you smile back to them all as you notice the peaceful pirates are the same age as you and they explain that they have lots of fun sailing the seven seas and looking for lost treasure. because they are seeking only those treasures so long forgotten, buried in the sands of time, or maybe even long buried beneath the depths of the deep, deep ocean. Well, right away, You feel this all sounds like such fun as you think of exciting adventures you too might take. And as you're wondering and imagining, the peaceful pirates place a brand new pirate hat on your head, which you can see is painted with a Jolly Roger and a whale's tail. Because how amazing is this? The peaceful pirates are officially inviting you to join them on a very special adventure. On a voyage to find a glorious treasure chest, rumoured to be resting on a coral reef, under the deep blue waves, hidden there by Bluebeard himself many moons ago. Now Bluebeard is a little known but most fearsome of pirates, who was rumoured to loot the most bountiful of pirate bounties ever to be seen from all over the seven seas. And one of the friendliest pirates tells you, almost in a whisper, that only a very special, very powerful whale knows the sunken treasure's mystery location. And the peaceful pirates have long been searching so far and wide. But alas, It's been to no avail. 
Yet just maybe you can help them to find this very clever whale. Now you see on the beautiful horizon, the orange sun is starting to set. And you're feeling very satisfied to be here. But also you're feeling a little tired. And so you just lie back in a hammock swinging so gently on the deck, collecting all your happiest thoughts. Thoughts of how you can help the peaceful pirates to finally find this wisest of whales. And even Bluebeard's missing treasure. as you begin to rock back and forth, so calmly relaxing even more, relaxing to the sound of the ocean waves, rocking back and forth in the sea breeze, just listening to the gentle sounds of the ocean. Relaxing into sleep. Deeper and deeper as you go. The rhythm of the waves is lulling you off into the land of your dreams, sinking deeper and deeper down, down and further down into your most relaxing state, enjoying this lovely, safe, peaceful, sinking feeling until you realize the ship is actually starting to sink. You jump up and look over the edge as you see the ship is so low down in the sea that the water is about to spill all over onto the deck. But all of a sudden now, Something so incredible and surprising happens. Because you're feeling the boat starting to rise up. Higher and higher. Now moving the opposite way. As if the whole pirate ship is being pushed up. By a powerful force which is so strong pushing the entire ship back up again until it rests easily on top of the safe, calm waves once more. And the peaceful pirates all let out a cheer as they quickly find and fix the water leak by pumping all the sea water out and then hammering wooden boards over that leaky little hole. Now feeling very relieved once more to be entirely safe, you're feeling even more curious now as to who or what saved the mighty ship. So you and your pirate friends together all look out over the side of the deck, peering out across the deep blue sea. And suddenly there's a gush of water that sprays up into the air. So high. 
the water gushes even higher than the mast itself. And suddenly an enormous, yet very friendly face emerges above the breaking waves. And this is certainly the biggest face, with the widest smile you ever did see. And you feel such warmth in your heart as you recognize this lovely animal this most massive ocean mammal. Hi, I'm Wally, the huge face says. Wally the whale. But you can probably see that from my blowhole and from my size. Now hearing Wally the whale's friendly whale voice, you nod and laugh and all of your pirate friends laugh too. And feeling very brave, you step forwards to thank Wally for rescuing you just in the nick of time. No problem at all, says Wally. I love helping friendly human beings out. And the peaceful pirates are always welcome on the Seven Seas. Now sensing your opportunity, you also ask Wally if he could possibly help with something else. Do you know the secret location of the hidden treasure? You ask. Wally grins a widest whale grin of big, blunt teeth. Oh, the treasure, Wally says. Well, come on then, he grins. You humans are so funny. Thinking things made of metal and Colourful stones are so very important. They're really quite ho-hum, if you ask me. But okay, I'll locate Bluebeard's treasure chest with my sonar and show you right now. They don't call me Wally the Wise for nothing. Now, walk the plank. Walk the plank? You think, that's the last thing you want to do. Ho oh, ho ho, calm down. Walk the plank and then jump down onto my back. Just watch out for my blowhole. Hold on to a barnacle or two. It's pretty easy to hang on safely, you'll find. Oh, well that sounds reasonable. So feeling quite relieved to be walking the plank for a good reason, you step carefully along the narrow wooden gangplank and then jump off and down onto Wally's huge, smooth, rubbery back. And it really is so easy to hold on tightly as you hang on to some bumpy barnacles which have suctioned on to Wally's smooth, squelchy skin. Now behind you, the peaceful pirates wave and cheer as Wally takes off gliding his strong whale fins through the frothy ocean waves. 
Wally is a gentle giant of the sea, even bigger up close, and you feel so free, special and strong to have such a great friend by your side. And now you see dolphins swimming alongside you, dipping and diving and squeaking with joy as they glide along between the waves. These dolphins are so fun and so cheeky. They all make you laugh with their squeaking songs. And now something really incredible happens. Because Wally is so wise and so kind and has such a special, magical type of energy. He gives you the gift of being able to breathe underwater. And so, still holding onto his back, you both go down under the sea, through bubbles of ocean water, gliding down together, so much deeper under the waves. And right here underneath the beautiful sea, you look out and admire all of the marine life which is really quite spectacular down here. Seeing schools of strange tropical fish forming. Undulating octopus swimming by. and even some flashy electric eels. But what you really love most is hearing the sonar whale song. Wally is singing at a loving, calming, happy frequency. And you can hear other whales singing back to Wally, even though they sound very far away. But it is clear to your ears and so soothing and lovely to enjoy. And you realize this is sonar honing, a special whale ability. Being such an intelligent creature and so pure of heart, Wally is tracking the hidden location of the long lost treasure for you. And now Wally's beautiful whale song becomes a charming ditty he sings just for you. When you dream of the ocean deep, it is full of much surprise. 
just relax, little one, and sleep. And there'll be treasure before your eyes. Treasure before your eyes. Wow, you sense that Wally the Whale just loves to sing. His kind-hearted melody making you feel so safe and special and really so much more relaxed to be here in the free open ocean. And together you swim, circling down and down into a marvellous coral garden with green seagrass and soft corals shining with the most gorgeous colours. You see clownfish, rainbow fish, even angel fish. As you swim down to ancient clams in deep shades of purple and blue. You have now arrived at the legendary Clam Garden. And right there, resting at the very centre of the beautiful clams, there is something that looks brown with glimmers of metal, covered in tufts of seagrass with a peaceful starfish resting right on top. And as you get a little closer, you reach out and push the seagrass to the side. And perched in the middle of this circle of giant clams is what looks to be a treasure chest. It is wooden and brass, with a lock keeping it very firmly shut. This must be Bluebeard's long lost treasure. You have found it. So to help you, Wally swims closer and opens his enormous whale mouth. And he clutches the chest between his big blunt whale teeth. And begins to swim you both upwards as you hold onto his back very excitedly. Gliding up, back up to the surface now. Higher and higher together. You are moving smoothly back towards the ship, just waiting calmly in the distance. Dipping and diving over the waves. Wally soon sends up a victorious spurt of sea spray from his blowhole. And now the peaceful pirates spot you through their spy glasses. And everyone is so happy to be cheering for your return. With a little lurch between his teeth, Wally easily breaks the old lock on the treasure chest. And he spits the chest up and out 
with a funny whale flip of his tail. And you are all able to now open the chest up, right back on the deck of the pirate ship. As you and the peaceful pirates open this big heavy lid together, it looks like sunlight is glinting out from inside. Because a most dazzling light is reflecting this most glorious treasure. You are stunned by so much treasure. The treasure of magnificently brilliant ancient artifacts. Gold sovereigns. Chalices. Mini statues. Crowns, queenly necklaces and kingly rings, precious gemstones of every colour. Strands of perfect pearls. Cutlasses. And even medieval swords. White the pirate's bounty. And you all have so much fun trying the treasure on. And leaping about the ship, play acting as pirates. Climbing up the mast with swashbuckling sword play. Taking the helm, steering the ship, and having pure old fashioned swashbuckling fun. It feels fantastic to be so free spirited. And you're so happy to see your new friend, Wally, stays for a while. Laughing at you humans for being so silly with all your trinkets. He looks so happy too. He even gives you a funny whale wave with his fin. Before with a big puff of ocean spray, Wally says goodbye. And you all wave and say thank you to this beautiful gentle giant of the sea. And with a big splashing wave of his huge mighty whale tail, Wally the Wise disappears back beneath the waves where he continues his whale songs.
and it is so soothing. You start to feel so tired. So very tired as you climb back into the comfy deck hammock once more. And you begin to rock along to the sounds of the ocean and the soothing whale songs of Wally whistling along in the far distance. And as you rest here on board this amazing happy ship, you feel such gratitude and love in your heart for Wally the Whale. For being such a kind-hearted, generous, joyful creature to take you on your marvellous journey. You really have had a whale of a time, which is perhaps the greatest treasure of all. As you begin to fall asleep now, you know that tomorrow you will wake up in your own bed, feeling so rested and fresh, and so confident inside, so calm and confident to take on your day in the best possible way. Because you are so courageous and brave. And you know and feel you can do anything. Now you're drifting away, just sleeping and sleeping. Floating and drifting into relaxing dreamland, into that lovely land of pure dreams. You are sleeping even deeper now, feeling so safe and so loved and blissfully wonderful to be the very special person that you are. Sweet ocean dream.